dearest beloved Muji Baba, I know that you are ah there you go. And uh, surely we we have been in close contact over the years. Thank you for writing. I found your letter now. Immense gratitude, you write. Immense gratitude for you guiding us to our freedom and truth. I would like to take this blessed opportunity to ask for your grace and blessings so that there is full recognition of the Self and any seeds of delusion, illusion, ego, identity and fears are completely burnt and removed. Everybody who has tasted the nectar of the real uh, spontaneously, they want. I, I just want to come all the way home. We want to come all the way home because you know that this, this is not going to be found in any object in the world. It is not going to be found there. You are discovering this inside your heart, and you don't want anything to stop you from coming fully into your discovery. And this is a wise attitude, of course, and fruitful one. No. However, uh, we cannot just. We all would love to have a switch that we could just switch off the mind. Just thank you very much. Enough of you. But uh, at the same time, we notice that, of course, the mind energy has been uh, empowered through habit, and we are meant to experience the phase of uh, the mental self, the psychological identity, for a while. Um, but you must know that you are experiencing uh, on the base of consciousness. Consciousness is there first. It will take the shape of personhood for a while, and we don't know how long. We don't know. Certainly, some say, before this present lifetime and life form, we have been moving, we call it like, in soul, uh, over many bodies, in this journey of self-discovering. And what we can say is in this lifetime, in this life form, in this life form, as something has stirred into an awakening, and you are naturally convinced that the self is your reality and that you don't want to waste time, you know, living in the shallow and narrow mode of personhood. You have received the darshan of God already. Now it's the it's somehow any journey is a journey inward. Before the journeys were outward. Now the seeming journey is heartward, and uh, you may find that, of course, from time to time, some uh, old habits may flare up. Something may it may happen, and without effort, we find ourselves back into the old regime of personal identity. I say, don't uh, be too surprised at that. It is uh, the force of habit. Yourself has not gone anywhere. Your truth is not moving out of the way to give stage to your mind. No, it is just a twist of attention, and we are back somehow experiencing as though we are in the old identity again. And just accept that it is not bad luck. It is not a, a terrible thing. This oscillation between person and presence may happen for a while. You may feel in the state of presence so blessed, so peaceful. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. You just want to stay here. And then somehow something happens and the pendulum swings outwards. And again, we are thinking, oh my gosh, what's happened? I don't know. This is horrible. I don't like to be in this. And again, back again. And you're feeling, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah to the truth. I am so happy. I am here again. So this oscillation plays for everybody for a while. By the momentum and the force of habit, it comes and goes. But what happens when it comes? It is as though we, we are hypnotized by the old patterns, and uh, we are playing out 
the game of personhood. And then somehow by grace or by your satsang, you find yourself again just uh, free and empty of the mind energy and again in your natural place of silence. And it feels, oh, how divine, how blessed, and so on like that. No? And so everyone who are experiencing these states, they ask, how can we stabilize in this? Please help us to cut the, the mind um, dynamics so that we can be always in this state. And then I ask you, who is the one who is suffering the mind? Who is the one who is suffering the mind? And of course, we feel, well, it's me, it's me. And I ask you, uh, please, um, just let's focus a little bit on this sense of me again. Who is this me who is suffering the mind? And we find that sometimes people are a bit stuck. They don't know how to answer that. Because until now, for most people, they, we have not gone beyond the shallow reflection of what we are. We have not. We just says, I am me. But we have never thought beyond this. What is this I? Uh, now I point you again, rather than going to try and untangle this mentally and to understand, which sometimes we feel like we have come to understand, but it has not gone deeply. So the early exercises that I gave, which is just to uh, sit, leave aside these notions about, I need to get rid of my mind, I need to suppress, or I need to throw the mind out. Have no intention for a moment. Not even good intentions. Leave the, 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 the preparation to be something aside. And as you do that, even your present identity, who you take yourself to be, your desire for what you would like to happen in the future, and all this type of stuff, every kind of mind tendency or habit, just to leave this aside for a moment. Just leave everything until there is nothing left that you are keeping. And this you can do right now. It is so practical, and it is so immediate. Leave everything aside right now, until there is nothing left to leave aside. So what remains here is a beautiful sense of just being empty. Now this emptiness is not something that you see with your physical eyes. It is an intuitive knowing. You are just here. Now, here, you know that you are, naturally. And this I am sense, look, it is not attached to any history. Please look with me, as I am sitting here now. This sense I am, and this is for anyone and everybody, this natural, untaught, awareness of self is without history. It is not personal. So you are not a container of memories or concepts. Everyone. There is only the natural sense of being. And awareness is here. Not awareness of this awareness of that, just awareness. You naturally know you exist. But you are what that is existing. Just look, look. Don't create and don't imagine. Start here. So, of course, the mind habit wants to come in to give some feedback, to give some answers. But you know, and you will know if that happens. No, not you, not now. I don't want any opinions about anything. Just you stay as you are. Okay. Also, sometimes mind comes 
and feels like yes, yes, but you uh, know, it's it's nothing. It's nothing. Come on, why wait? Wait for more nothing. You know, it's just nothing is going on. You know, um, but its voice is not so uh, mm, what you may call the influence is not strong now. Because you are, you have chosen simply to be, and this sense of being is not a verb. It's not that you are doing being; you simply are. Pay attention to this, everyone. Just pay attention to this. Wherever you may be, whatever country, whatever place you may be. Your experience and seeing is universally one right now, if you follow. I am not asking you to think about this. Simply just, you are here. You are here. Whatever it is that is here now, I want to ask you all some questions. And I'm not going to ask you necessarily for verbal response, but you can shake your head as to yes or not to say no. That's okay. I ask that you do this because by by physically demonstrating what you see in simple yes or no responses, okay, has a power because it's as though you are registering your seeing. Not just imagining. So now we are here. We are simply here, in the space of being. Now may I ask you a few simple questions again, which you may either nod as yes or no. Look. Whatever is here, Is it an object at all? No, it's not an object, not object. Is it merely a feeling? Is it merely a feeling? No, not merely feeling, not merely feeling. Is it a mood? Is it a mood? No, not a mood, not a mood. Is it personal? No, not personal, not personal. Thank you. Whatever it is, I call it sometimes just the, the is or the isness to stay away from the words which we have used so often before and have developed other kind of connotations, just that which is here now. Did it arrive, whatever you are, you are aware of? Did it come from somewhere? I am watching you, I am watching, I am with you, so I am just registering your responses. This is an interactive moment, so I can see and feel your responses also. What you are aware of right now, what you are aware of right now, is there any boundary to it? Like at a certain point you come to the end of it or something. So the feedback I'm seeing from you, no, there is no boundary, no boundary to it. May I ask you, can it, whatever it is, this in this knowingness, can it be sick? Can it ever get sick itself? My eyes are on you. Just it, let me know. Yeah, it cannot be sick. Have I got everyone's response here? Ah, cannot be sick. Hmm. 
can it ever get depressed? No, cannot. It cannot get depressed. Okay. Can I ask you if you are you imagining this or directly perceiving? You're imagining it, not imagining. No need to imagine, no need to imagine. I'm going to take a risk and ask a question. Does it have any beginning? Simply, simply. Is there any feeling of it has a starting point or any beginning? I'm with you. I'm with you here. Look, no, no, no begin, no beginning. Oh, let's go to the other hand now. Can it? Can it? Can it end or be destroyed in some way? Please look. Hmm? No, it cannot. Cannot be destroyed. Hmm. Can it be? ever against what you are or any person it cannot be very good does it have any judgment in it at all no it has not any judgment Can it belong to any specific, any one religion and not another one? Does can it belong to anyone? Can anybody have ownership of that? I am watching just to hear from you. No, very good, wonderful. Mm. Let me ask you. You are so aware presently. Is it an object? I ask again. Is it an object? Can it fade? Can it fade? Meaning, can it gradually disappear? Can it disappear? Did it appear? Ah, wonderful. You see, this is why I asked you to just to postpone your thinking um, energy, to empty your mind completely of the usual, the usual. Um, habits of the mind to be totally empty, even of personal identity. I ask this: to, Why to ask you to be so empty, 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 empty? Because when you are empty of all that you think you have learned, then I can ask you this type of question. This kind of question, which most people cannot even answer, this. It is so. It is so. No university can teach you about it. And yet, without spending time to think and to work anything out, your responses are arising as soon as the question is heard. Why? May I ask you another question? How far away from you is it? What you're what you're aware of now? How much? How far do you have to go to to meet it? Do you have to make some distance to connect with it? No distance. No distance. So this is what I've been asking you. These questions is the questions I've been asking. Beings all over the world, whatever background they have come from, whatever belief systems they have had, whatever they, whatever background they have had to their life, all these things, and largely 
the 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 response is coming from here. Almost 95, 96% of people are aware. Some people say, I, I can't work it out. I don't. I say, okay, for the moment, if I leave those aside, the vast majority are seeing in, and responding the same way. So it doesn't matter which country you're in. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if you're black or you're white. It doesn't matter these things. The seeing is confirming something that cannot be touched. It is not a form. So I'm just going to go over for myself again. You say, when you're asked, is it an object? You say, it is not an object. I ask again, uh, does it have any uh, shape or size? Now I ask you, it has no shape or size. Is it a mood? You say, no, it's not a mood. What about a feeling? No, it is not a feeling. Can it fade away? For instance, now you are aware of it. Let's say you wake up tomorrow. Will it have gone? Can it go? Can it go away? I'm watching. Can it go away? No, it cannot go away. I ask you, can it, can it be sick? You said no. I ask you, can it get depressed? You said no, it cannot get depressed. I said, where did it begin? Does it have a starting place? You say, it hasn't got a starting place. I say, does it have an ending place? You say, no, it doesn't have an ending place. I say, does it judge? You say, it does not judge. I ask you, can it belong to any particular group? You say, no, it's not a religious group or category. Can any, can any uh, uh, government take hold of it? Uh, no, it cannot do that. Uh, I said, okay. I mean, well, was it born? No, it is not born. Can I ask you, can it die? Can it die? Oh my gosh. Can it die? Then I ask you, how long it will it take you to, to, to reach it? You say, no distance. So I said, if this is the response from you, then what you are, perce what you are perceiving directly, what you are being aware of, is your own being, your own self, your own nature, in truth. Can it come to an end? Are you in a state of hypnosis? No, you see. So look what you are verifying today. What you are verifying by yourself. If you are someone who likes to figure things out with your head, you're used to using your head, right now you may feel a bit lost, like, I don't know, I cannot answer any of those questions. Like this. But I'm happy with your responses. You are right now. I don't even want to say you are in contact with it. Can you be separate from it? Then look at that. Look at that. For the first time, you're speaking. Speaking the truth for the first time. You don't need an opinion. You can see directly without your physical eyes, with your inner knowingness. Did you have to go deep, 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 deep to find what you are seeing? No. You see, this is the fruit of your satsang. Can anyone take it away from you? How wonderful! How wonderful! In what way 
can you be different from this? Yes. So this is the fruit of the invitation to freedom. So if I say, OK, as an exercise, it's finished. So has this gone away? Is this finished? This is true self-discovery. This is not asking you the opinions of your mind, which today you may say it's like this, and tomorrow you say it's not like this. If I were to see you in three weeks, Accidentally, we bump into each other. Will this? Will you have to take time to say, "Wait a second, this thing that you, I've got to try and find it. Can it hide?" Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Yes. So this is itself a joy in in just looking. Is it merely a mental discovery? No. Thank you. Thank you. And what a joy to watch you in your own presence, resting inside your own being. So even if the suppose now the mind comes, big tsunami, can it disturb this? Can this go away? And this is all you need to really know, because the mind will come, and it will feel like you are hypnotized into identifying again. And oh, I've lost. Oh, I'm lost again. Yesterday, the such song was so good, and you'll be speaking like that. I call it sleep, sleep talking. Sleepwalking, sleep living. How to wake up out of this sleep? Well, is this asleep or awake? Beyond sleeping and awake. How much did you pay for it? <laughs> huh? Like this, you see, like this, and I asked you, are you in some hypnotic state? Are you visualizing? Are you visualizing the self? No. No. The self cannot be visualized. You may try and imagine something, but it will not be this. This is this. This you are. And at the same time, we were given the opportunity and the experience to identify with this instrumental body in order to taste the sense of being a separate private person who learned things through our mind, who experience interrelated opposites, and all the emotions, we are meant to experience everything, to experience the sense of fear, the sense of fear of dying, sometimes the fear of living, experience uh, to be without important things, experience to be afraid, experience to be in love, experience to be uh, alone, experience to be uh, um, you know, hungry, ex all these things we must experience. We must experience, not as a punishment, but because consciousness wanted to, needed to explore, to experience the diversity um, of its uh, capacity to, to manifest differences 
understand that. But understand that that does not need to stop in its manifestation. But now, as you bring your attention to be present and to be one with, is your attention separate from this? We know this is a, this is a little bit of a subtle question, because it seems as though when the attention turns towards the mind and the sense of identity and so on, whole different experiences are coming into play, and those experiences are believed on the basis of personal identity, and whenever we go into the state of personal identity, it is as though the identity eclipses your natural knowing that you have just been sharing with me and you start to speak from the place of the person which i call the mask that appears as though it can cover the self can anything cover the self i'm asking this question now and yet through the mind it appears as though the self was an experience and now it's gone. I cannot find it. And the I who says, Oh, the self, the experience is gone. I don't know what to do. This I that is appearing is also appearing in the same space of awareness that you are. But you forget because attention goes into identity as a person. As you spend time to verify, to marinate in that seeing, which is your truth, it will become increasingly clear how the mistake is made. Now, can I ask you, the exercise is finished. For now, the exercise is finished. Okay? Has it gone, the self gone? I'll keep checking in with you if it has gone. Suppose you had the ability. I can ask you this question. We can play. Suppose I could you could go into a spaceship and travel to a very, very far distant planet. Will it not be there? Can you leave uh, can you leave yourself? And this is the thing. And how simple, simple, and yet what a mystery that the mind movement come and it's as though we got hypnotized into becoming a finite thing again so you are going to get used to this you have received in yourself by yourself the grace of real seeing and even though some distortion, some distractedness may come and play for a while, it will get weaker and weaker as you continue to affirm and confirm your true seeing like that. This is how powerful it is. Oh, powerful it is. So it was very good for me uh, to share this with you. In your presence, you came and because of you, somehow I have uh, been able to introduce again the invitation. And this, when I ask you, and I ask everybody, okay, can you ever not be this? Yeah. You can take your time. You can take your time. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. So thank you, Nupura Nishit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful for now. This is very, very thank great. Thank you, Guruji. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, wonderful, wonderful, thank wonderful. You, Guruji. Thank, love you, you, thank you, Guruji. Thank you, thank you, Nupura. Love you so much. Wonderful, wonderful, Nupur. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, Guruji. Thank you. Let's take a moment and just to, um, I don't know, even if I say to be with this, it's okay. I can say be with this. 
because of the language of conditioning and habit, I have to say, be with this. But actually, you are this. You are more this than any person you previously thought you were. And you may say you are, you are your person too, but that's a much more superficial state. Because one day you're like this, another day like that. One day, another day like this, another day like that. But from this place, if I ask you, hmm, you will not say, Oh, to, yesterday I'm different from how I am today. Because it is not a mood. It is not a feeling. It is not an abstraction. It is not a visualization. It is not a product of imagination. It is not a belief. It is not an object. It simply is. Pay attention just to this. In what direction can you look where this is no more? Wonderful. You know, there will come a moment, a time, when having come to this recognition, this realization, okay, and I say we have to stabilize in it, because this me factor, this I factor, this we factor, which seems to um, admit to a sort of personal identity, that sense of yes, I came back to myself and I go away from myself, will feel natural for a while to keep saying that. But maybe something changed. Maybe whenever you feel, you know what, I don't know what I like anymore, you will you will hear that within the wider space of your true being. And you may just laugh to yourself and say, what is that? <laughs> you may just catch yourself laughing, who was that? Who is making all these decisions? Who is suffering all these moods? So, this is the power of self inquiry now presented in the form, the simple form of. Invitation to freedom, I call like that. And it is with you. What is it is with you? Is that really true? Is the self with you? Who are you? How much distance between you and the true self? So what we are experiencing is a natural sense of separateness, that comes with years and years of living in the notion of being this person. Hmm? And the personal identity will feel a bit left out, like, oh, so you want to leave me now? So sometimes it comes back and it may create, it seems experientially in the mind, you know, like some kind of tantrum, some sort of uh, distortion of perception. My mind just won't stop, and all this type of stuff. For a little bit, it may happen. But has anything happened here? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, D. I'm looking at you, Michael. I'm looking at you, Yam, and Joel, and Hendrik, and Donna, each of you, Duong, Sandy, Julian, Maureen, all of you. When will this be lost, and what will remove this knowing? So, what is called a realization of the self is that. The sense of division between yourself in the mind and person and the self which is unchanging, somehow something 
merges the shallower idea of the self of the personal self is merging in the natural being more and more are you going to look different well if you look different it's going to be better it's going to be a face which is not carrying the reading of stress and anxiety and fear and uh, desire and neediness. No, it will be what I call you without you, meaning without all that stuff, stuff, stuffing, stuffy. And often when I see people in satsang, I have a sense I'm seeing your true face. What is true face? Not the face of your thoughts and attachments and fears, but the face, the feature, the countenance of your pure being, radiant, silent, peaceful, wise. Don't try to be that. Don't try. It doesn't work. Because the one trying to be that is already you've been tricked into being a person trying to be that. When I asked you to look, you made a discovery, not an invention. So that is the power of your looking. Okay? There will come a time when just this is enough. Just this is like a reminding. Why are you speaking as though you are this person and you will Thank you, thank you, thank you, Muji. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, I was distracted for a moment. We are largely suffering from distraction, distractedness from our central being. Uh, this is a kind of paradox. But gradually, you may say, How can I make the two merge together? Wh where are you speaking from who asks this? So I say, just by sitting, being at one with, which meaning that your readiness, being in natural recognition, confirmed through direct seeing and non-dual seeing, by this resting in the awareness, all the troubles, all the complicatedness, all the to-do lists, softens down and merge in being and you will find spontaneously you are responding actions reactions interactions are seen to be and experienced to be happening spontaneously trust this so why why do i say trust it because through the mind sometimes you may think i can't deal with the world by simply being here that's another trick. I can't be, I have so many things to do, I'm under so many pressures. That's going back into the old regime of identity. Learn to be quiet with yourself. Don't uh, go with reactions when they come from the mind. You'll begin to know this. I could sit here and talk about it for a long time, but I will not, because it doesn't work like that. What works is you paying attention just to the sense of being. It may seem oversimplistic or even naive to you, but what power will come out of this? So can I take it while I'm sitting here with you and all of you that a natural sense of being loyal to your truth is felt inside your heart? You don't have to go somewhere else for that, wherever you are. Sometimes you may have to step aside from the, the traffic of uh, you know, worldly noise for a moment just to sit and clarify your mind and your being again. Now, it may just be five minutes just to sit. And as you learn to do this, you'll find that you naturally are attracted to staying and honoring yourself in this way. If somebody asks you, what are you doing? Don't say, I'm trying to be one with myself. Don't talk like that, because people will just think you're crazy. 
Just say, I'm just taking a moment, just to uh, sit quietly. You don't have to go and tell anybody anything. We are not turning you into evangelists. I am telling you just to rest in your being and find the power of this. Okay? And how beautiful, how impactful this will be. I cannot say in what area of your life. Sometimes the people who you are used to being close with may not understand you because we all have a picture of each other. And when someone change from the shape you are used to seeing them through, we something doesn't like it. We want to see you back in the old shape in the mind of people. So don't worry about that. Don't try too hard to make people understand anything. But you'll find that you're able to be kind and without judgment, that you'll have a, a deep natural confidence, not an egoic confidence, and a peacefulness about you that is undeniable. Sometimes uh, some people are intimidated by the presence of someone who is awake. It's a superficial response, or someone who is deepening in their self-discovery. You may find that you expect that people are going to notice this and want to say nice things to you, but you might be surprised that people go, oh, who do you think you are, and all of this kind of stuff. And don't say anything clever. Just stay inside your heart. Make it, even though you might feel you are being tested, uh, just uh, stay with what you are, like this. And your actions that flow from awareness they always have a deep power, a beautiful quality about them. So uh, I have all these letters to go through. I think I've answered all of them in just this invitation. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, I could go through and read. There are some beautiful letters, but we have surpassed them. We have surpassed. If I have to answer this one, yes, well. I think maybe you need to take a bit more time away from work and give a bit more energy to you, this and that. Say, so, no, 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 no. We don't have to go into that. Just you stay in this, honor this, and you're going to find that your life becomes magical. One's life has to be magical, but not from your mind, oh, I'm going to try and make my life. No, no. Because the God life, the real life, is magical. Don't try to be too predictable and too consistent. These are things that the mind is trying to be. There's something unpredictable about someone who's really alive. You know, meaning unpredictable in the sense that, you know, they always surprise you and they're always surprising themselves, if I can say that. It's not true. You don't surprise yourself. When you are at peace with yourself, something is just in a deep sense of acceptance and you find your way. And this is what is beautiful about tonight's satsang, today's satsang with you, is that I'm not giving you a lot of instructions. I'm just pointing you back to yourself. Everything is already with you in your natural being. Begin to enjoy the adventure of uh, self-discovering and the fruits that come from this. You see? Just be with this. Your mind might say, but you know, I wanted you to answer my question. Don't go backwards. You're here. I'm not even going to ask you to go forward, even. Stay in your silence. The self is not behind or before, it is always ever present and it is unlimited. I hold all of you inside my heart, I tell you this, because we have met and we have met in the most true way human beings can meet in the most true ways. I've not come to talk to you about football or politics in the United States right now. I'm not going to talk about this. This is too, too, too high for this. This is too high for this. Okay? You will find your way. You will find your way. Because you are not anymore being guided by this, this by the torchlight of the mind but by the radiance of the heart. And it is beautiful. Are you going to make mistakes? Seemingly. You will find seeming mistakes. But guess what? It's not a big deal. 
they will all be will be sort of what I may call um, uh, growth hormones. They will help you to 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 discover uh, more deeper um, uh, things in your being. How are you feeling, guys? Yeah, of course. Of course, I am not surprised. Of course. Of course. But there's going to come a time when you won't mind about how you're feeling if the feelings are coming from the mind and you will know the difference. There are pure feelings which are arising out of the perfume of your own being. You don't have to plan for those. Spontaneously, it is as though you're kissed from within and you feel like you're lifted above the clouds of the mind. But uh, this is just a spontaneous part of the, the display of the spontaneity that will, the range of, of uh, expressions arising from uh, the true nature. And this is where, in some mysterious way, you cannot explain this beautiful transforming, this beautiful grounding. And as I said before, you don't have to explain it. You don't have to write a thesis about it. It is just the fragrance of your own being. What am I going to do with these letters? I don't know. <laughs> How often I have waited for this kind of opportunity. I am always find myself, because it is the highest way I can be with you. Don't feel that somehow you have unanswered questions. You probably find what your questions are not solved, they are dissolved by the light of your own presence. How often I have longed to, to be with you like this, like this. So if the mind come and go, yeah, but you know, I wanted you to talk about this. Please tell me a bit more about reincarnation. What happens after this and this? No, no, please, 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 please. Don't belittle yourself. Don't belittle yourself. Remain in the height of your being. Remain in the height of your being. And you will know everything is fine. Leave it to God. Everything is fine. Continue growing inwardly. This is true aliveness. This is true life. And uh, it is you. I am not telling you any compliments. You don't need compliment. Truth is enough. The truth is enough. I am not flattering you. And I am telling you, and I am showing you, and you are discovering for yourself what is here. Honour this. We have a whole saying, abide in this. This is grace. This is being in God's presence directly. This is walking in truth. So I am very happy for this evening's satsang. I see that um, I don't know. Maybe I can try a question, but it may not happen. It may not happen. Okay, it may not happen. I'm just gonna look and see. Because by the
For instance, I'm looking like this. I won't say who she knows. Dearest Muji, the pandemic has allowed me more time to deepen the recognition of that which you point to, that you have discovered. This, in turn, is giving me a clearer view of what I am not, from which I am most grateful. Wonderful. One of the things that has come into view uh, through this is the pull of distraction away from the self. The attention of the mind can be like away from the self. So tell me now, which direction can you go to be away from the self? In truth. You see, I'm just asking open, open question, okay? When you had a placement, a very physical identity that was being honoured, then relative to that identity in in place and time, you can say, I'm moving away from something, I'm distracted away. But when you are discovering the self which is everywhere, and it's not imagination, your indirect oneness with your seeing, simply be with that. If I were to say, oh, um, well, try to do this, try, you have accomplished it. Now honour it. How to honour it? Don't go out looking for how to honour the self. The mind will show you when you need to honour yourself. You follow? The mind itself will come to show you now you need to honour yourself. Because every time you turn to me, I'm going to bite you. He's going to tell you like that. Every time you turn and start to pick up the how to do and what not to do and stuff, you're going to find it bites you with confusion, with the anxieties. Stay as the self. Keep quiet. If something needs to be known, don't be in a rush. Wait on God's timing. God's timing is very, very in tune with your heart vibration. Don't worry. Don't listen to the mind's assessment of your life or anybody else's life. Learn to be one with your own silence and being. And don't imagine that somehow you are suppressing something. Uh, suppressing. No. Uh, you don't have to suppress the mind. You can control him. Meaning that you see the energy wants to go there, but you know that it's you know through your intuition, you know through your sensibility that it is not truthful. It's just out of habit or addiction or neediness. So when you pay attention rather than fighting the mind or resisting, remember yourself, be back into your heart again and see what does awareness want? What does awareness want and from who? And you find everything is flowing again. Out. And I would love that as these days continue and life continue to unfold in its natural unfolding, that some way I would love to be in touch with you and to see how you're doing. And I will tell you something, it's going to be mysterious. <laughs> it's going to be mysterious. Yes, you will see. You will see. By the grace of God, you will see. So, my beloved ones, we are happy together in this one. May I ask you another question? In this awareness, what time is it there? What season? This is what I call divine intelligence. It's not working like the earthly mind.
whatever you do, wherever you are, everything is taking place in this realm of being, you can say. It doesn't matter what, whether it goes fast or slow or up or down. It's all a movement in the mind arising in the unchanging awareness self. You're in the God zone. And such peace is going to keep arising with you, such joy unmerited, such aliveness. The Self can never leave you. Everything will come and go because of consciousness playing in and out, like clouds floating by in the infinite expanse of the sky, unchanging. You will notice this to your increasing joy. I tell you this thing. Nobody can know you, even personally. Everyone has only a view a perspective and not stable thank god it's okay but this is not a mental knowing it's a non-dual awareness be with it and you will be truly in love a non-dual love uh, whatever you do through the intention of personhood, it's never fully successful. But here you move because love compels you. The grace of God guides you. And more and more you'll find the sense of separation and distance is reducing and reducing. The sense of feeling alienated and separate from the core, from God, from Truth, is reducing, reducing, reducing. And you will not even know when they meet. You are already in your oneness. Thank you. Thank you. And love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You have given me a beautiful evening also. Can it really be this simple? Can it really be this simple? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you are the embodiment of love itself. I am sharing this with you. You are the embodiment of love itself. But you will still have to hold fast. You will still have to pay attention and not go to sleep in the mind. You have to keep on confirming every time mind comes to test you. Remember, it is not testing you so that you shall fail, but that you need it to develop the muscles of discernment. You are winning yourself back. You will feel times when you feel, I am not as strong as I was yesterday. It is a feeling, but do not give it too much. Just go back immediately. Pay attention to your heart and see what your heart has to say about it. 
So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to spend a few moments just to sit in silence with you, so I can just keep bathing in your presence, registering your presence in my heart. I had this feeling, at a certain point, have I left anything out? Because I had so much, so much letters. I think, how am I going to, how am I going to um, reach each one? And uh, then I checked in, and I have left nothing out. And yet, I am not keeping anything at all, just like you can be right now. Don't be holding on to anything, any shape at all. Remain shapeless. This is just for you. 